We've recently introduced a much more interesting way for developers to explore the trade-off between time for a U SQL job to run and how much it costs. So let's take a look at the Azure portal, and I've already opened a U SQL job. Now the first thing to notice is there's a tab called AU Analysis now, okay? And there's a graph, which you're used to if you've used previous versions of uh, Visual Studio with our tools installed. And the graph shows you, if you look at this area here, the act what actually happened with the job. The dotted line indicates what's allocated, and the, and the black line that's solid indicates what's been used. The developer asked for 50 AUs, and it took about 10 AU hours. That's the cost. It ran for almost 12 minutes, and, uh, and it's about 70% efficient. That's considered pretty good for this job. Now, rather than you uh, sort of thinking about the math behind AUs and cost and how many AUs are running, uh, we've actually done an analysis of many jobs and come up with some approaches to hit some sweet spots for you. And the first sweet spot is what I would call balanced. Okay, now I clicked on balance. Let's take a look what happened in the chart. The actual usage, which is the black line, still remains, but we have this green line, and that shows you the what would happen if you picked the balanced recommendation. And the balanced recommendation is uh, 124 AUs, which cost, uh, now you can see here, there's the AU hours or estimated cost, $15, as opposed to 13.75, and uh, and the runtime went down dramatically from eleven, uh, from twelve minutes to just five and a half minutes, and this job is still re decently efficient at sixty-five percent. So this is a great place for you to be, because uh, the job uh, really didn't cost much more, but there was a tremendous improvement in terms of cost, uh, in terms of runtime. So how is balance calculated? Basically, think about balance as as you start uh, paying more, you uh, you know you. you pay more for the job, but the job runtime gets slow, lower and lower. So where's that sweet spot where it transitions to? You're paying, but you're really not seeing the return on investment so much. And this is where that curve um, hits that sweet spot. So balance, you should always check it out because uh, it's sort of the, like the, a good deal, bang for your buck. The next sweet spot is fast. Now fast says, look, if we you can keep paying more, but maybe there's just you're getting just incrementally small returns on investment. Like it's really not worth paying anymore. And in this case, the coincidence for this job is that balance and fast are actually the same. In other words, really, um, this time of five and a half minutes is about as fast as this job is going to get. So you could make it faster. You'd be paying much more though for just extra few seconds of speed re of a time reduction. And then finally, we have custom. Now, custom is the fun part because you get to feel in a very intuitive way uh, how the AUs will affect the job. So let's click custom. And uh, this looks a little confusing, but let's just take a look. Black line is what actually happened, and custom custom is set to 1 by default. And here's the purple line, which is custom. It's just flat. Of course, it should look that way, and it should take a long time. It'll take uh, 7 hours with just one AU, according to our predictions. Now the fun thing about custom is there's a, the slider is activated. So let's play with the slider, and, and you can see, oh, as I increase the number of AUs, how does it relate to the job that I actually ran? And you can see now the first thing is, hey, if we slide it over to uh, around 50, looks like our predictions are not too bad, uh, close at least in the shape. And then we slide it over and over, and you can see how the job runtime will go less and less, but the cost is going up. And as we hit, get toward 124, you can start seeing the diminishing returns because as I drag the slider over, the runtime, the length the job is running, isn't really changing. Okay, and there you go. Now, this is a great way to explore uh, how much you're paying versus how much improvement you're going to make in your job execution time. This feature is now available in the Azure portal as well as Visual Studio. We encourage you to check it out. We think you're going to love it. It'll save you a lot of money.